when I started, I thought that our radars were penetrating radiation and they could, you know, see, see through cars and see through trees and stuff. That's not really the case. Um, they, they bounce off of those things. Yeah. And, uh, but one, one thing they can see through is, uh, particulates like, huh. uh, steam, uh, fog, dust. That's cool. um, fog is something that we encounter very commonly in San Francisco. Yeah. It makes sense. They actually have, uh, they call the fog Carl, um, Carl? because Carl, yeah, he's, he's so, uh, persistent and common that like they give it a name of, of a person. <laughs> so Carl, the fog, um, is is really difficult for our lasers and we rely on our lasers for uh, a lot they have you know very high um angular resolution and so they've been kind of our go-to sensor for for detecting many objects um that makes sense but uh What's the approximate can't... angular resolution of lidar these days just out of curiosity oh i couldn't say yeah no I, it's not it's it's not a matter of like the the wavelength of the light so much as it is in like um how many emitters you have uh and how many receivers you have and what are the lenses you have in front of them that's interesting so um anyway uh yeah fog blocks laser got it um and so we need radar to see through that that's that's like one example um in addition, like radar, we rely on radar for seeing uh, kind of further than LIDAR can. 